guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sandra ways so today we are doing a unique video you guys have been asking for a skincare video but i plan to do my full skincare routine like my morning skincare routine and then my night skincare routine in my next videos but then today i want to show you guys something special something that i haven't used before in my entire life i have never used a peel off mask like never so i used a garnier face mask before in one of my videos i'm going to link it down in the description you guys can check it out yeah so i used that before and it works great you know but now for today's case i am using a peel off mask that garnier charcoal peel off mask So this is what I'm using on my skin today because I felt a bit uncomfortable with my skin of lead and I also want to look good and feel good so that's the reason why I want to try this mask people have been talking about it people have been saying that it hurts to peel it off after it has dried up you know all of that but personally I just want to try it out by myself so this peel off mask is made specially for people with blackheads you get it for people with blackheads um, but I'm like my skin has issues my skin has some problems okay. which so this is not a paid promotion guys it is not a paid promotion because I bought this myself from a store here in Germany called DM that store and this is the receipt so guys um, let's get started and let's unbox this So for this face mask, you put it around your T-zone, by T-zone I mean here, the nose, here and here. I plan to put it everywhere but not the eyebrows or the eyes or the eyelashes, you know. <laughs> but before we get started, you need to remember that whatever you do with your skin, you need to remember and always remember that you need a glass of water. Not just a glass, you need water. And after the water, what do you need? A clean skin. Before you apply the mask, you want to make sure that your skin is clean. So my skin is very clean right now. So guys, let's get started and let's apply this face mask and see how it goes. I am super excited. Mm. Smells good. You can use a makeup brush to apply it, or if you don't have a makeup brush, or if your makeup brushes are dirty because you need everything clean. Yeah, you can always apply with your fingers. So I'm going to apply with my fingers. Oh my god, look at this. Wow, it is thick. Wow. Okay, guys. you don't put on your eyebrows or your eyes like in general because when you're peeling it off trust me you lose everything <laughs> so this is it guys mm. Oh, I'm reading here and it says you should let it sit and dry 
you peel it off after it has dried up so i believe maybe 15 minutes will do or 20 minutes but it feels good like you feel that kind of minty feeling you know it feels minty on the skin i feel nice having this face mask on i love it the mask feels so tight but like i say it smells good it feels tight and oh my god i feel like getting it out already but i noticed that some parts are not yet dry like this part like this part this part around my cheekbones is not yet dry because i left it thick so i have to wait for it for that part to also get dry yeah but then it feels so tight but i love it you know it's a nice feeling to have a face mask on but you guys can see This parts have dried up. Always drink water and always wear sunscreen. Don't think that because you're dark skin or you've grown up living in Africa that you shouldn't wear sunscreen. No, you should always wear sunscreen and a moisturizer. You know, my skin gets so dry when it's winter time actually when fall starts oh my god i don't know why but it gets so um after the mask is finally dry so we need to take this pretty mask off and we need to unveil our skin you know people say it hurts to pull off this mask but i don't know i have to try <laughs> i have to try to know whether it hurts or not but well let's just do this and get this over with already oh i can't wait to get the results to see how it feels you know <laughs> it's my first time like i said at the beginning of this video so guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe now <laughs> please do give this video a thumbs up so that it can be recommended to other people you know so well let's take this mask off and get this over with okay so where should i start um ooh doesn't really hurt Chop it here. Okay, perfect. You see? Oh my god. Let's slowly take this off. Oh my god, check closely how it gets off. Like, oh, ouch, ouch, ouch ouch oh my god oh my god oh my god ouch 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 is this mask hurts ouch 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 <laughs> i can't do this oh my god <laughs> One, two, three, go. Ouch, I'm really scared. Ouch. I want to pull it off at once. I don't know if it's the best thing to do. The mask goes deep into your skin, like deep. 
Forget the pain. Just think of the results. My skin is tearing. Let's take a break here. We're still, we still have to take off the whole mask. Like, we need to take everything off. But to be honest, it feels good, like, you feel so good when the mask is off, like, off. You feel good. Like, it's like, it pulls out some hair. I don't know if you guys can see it up close. Let me try to show you guys. Like some facial hair. Ah, oh, I don't know. Oh. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but the mask pulls out some hair. Like I see it. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but it does. Oh my god, some little facial hair. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. This hat. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, this was so painful. Because of the hair. Why aren't you guys seeing the hair? Oh my god. Like, it takes up some facial hairs. I don't know if you guys are seeing. Oh my god, I wish you guys could see. Can you see? Like, oh my god, it's literally like a shaver. But let's finish everything. Ouch. Okay. Um, yep. Done here. Uh, there's some few parts of the mask left, but I'm going to wash this off with just water. Yeah, I wash this off and then moisturize my skin. So let me go wash my face and come right back. I'm here and I am back after washing my face. So I'm going to use this. So you want to pat your face to dry with a really clean towel, really clean face towel guys. So this is what I'm using, it's best if you use cotton, okay? So you don't have to be rough on your face, you know, just pat it dry, like... But you can also let your face air dry, and by the way, when you're washing your face off after the mask, I'd suggest that you wash it with just plain water, okay? After patting your face dry, you need to use a moisturizer or a cream, whatever it is that you need to use to keep your face moist, to keep it in check. So guys, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that you've watched this video to the very end. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe.